What's up all my hot shot hustlers? So today, you know what this is? Today, we're gonna talk about permit books. What is a permit book? I don't need no permits. I just get in my old truck, get in my trailer, and I just ride, right? You don't wanna see that. I don't need a permit book, hot shot, cause they told me so. They told me I could just get in the truck and drive. And then DOT says, boy, let me get your paperwork. So, I say, all right, officer, here you go. He says, no, I need blah, blah, blah. It's all in there. I give him the permit book. But what's in my permit book? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about today. First thing in the permit book is a cab card. And everything I name, I'm gonna list, or I'm gonna show you around here. But, I can't cover this up. Oh no, I can't cover this up. So, what is in the cab, what is in there, in the permit book? Well first, it's called a cab card, son. A cab card is your registration for your international registration plan. What that means is you have a portion tags and on this piece of paper, it's got all your truck information, your company information, the owner information of the truck or trailer, and you guessed it, all the weight you're registered for in the states or provinces. And you're gonna say, well, it's all the same. No, it's not, because they've got Canada, they got Puerto Rico. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna get my truck over to Puerto Rico to run the weight, but it's on there. So the first thing is the cab card. Now, if you don't have a cab card, then you have a truck registration and that means you're under 26,000. So that's number one. Number two is, you gotta guess, I'll wait. Now nah, I'm sick of waiting. Trailer registration. License and registration, please. Nah, you don't get none of that. No, but number two is a trailer registration. I'm just gonna have to take a load off since I'm always trying to be a comedian and give you all fake information. And I'm a fake car hauler ruining the industry. But I love it. I love it. But, okay. Number two is the registration. Registration for your trailer. Now, Last time I got inspected, mine was taken, so I'm waiting on another one to come in, but you need it in your permit book. Now, this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip around because I'm gonna do mandatory and then optional, meaning if you qualify. All right, guys, so while doing this video, apparently I lost my mind when cuckoo and forgot one of the most important things in your truck. <laughs> Proof of insurance. Well, here it is. Proof of insurance is to prove that you have insurance. Now they can look it up on the FMCSA, but a lot of them, depending on the state, they want to see it. So make sure you have proof of insurance. He's mad because he ain't been out yet and we're gonna go wash the truck. You can get ready to get out though. So the next one's gonna be your DOT physical, your medical card. But that's only if you don't have a CDL. If you have a CDL, then you don't need your medical card. Cause when they run your license, poof, it comes up. It says you're good, bad, indifferent, can't drive, can drive. It is what it is, it's there. So that's that. And then you've got your truck and trailer annual inspection. So every year we need to be DOT inspected. We need to be inspected every year. Uh, not, I'm sorry, not DOT. We need our annual FMCSA DOT inspection, but it's not done by DOT. It's done at a shop. It's done at the truck stop by a mechanic. Um, you, even the company that you work for can do it if they have a qualified mechanic. So, um, 
that needs to be in there. When I started, I didn't know any better, and I thought I just needed the stickers on the trailer, and I needed the papers in the office. Well, really, you need the papers in the office, and you need a paper in your truck. So you, you need both of them, um, the sticker on the truck and trailer, and the paper in the, in the truck. And now we need, if you are leased on, you need a lease agreement. You need permission to be running with those DOT numbers. You cannot just slap DOT numbers on your truck and run just because you said so. You have to have that. Now, if you don't have that, last I heard, I'm pretty sure that's out of service because you have no permission to be running, none. So, make sure if you're leased on, you have that, okay? And then you need your IFTA registration if you're over 26,000. So, when you get IFTA, you get a little registration card or a paper. Or North Carolina, it's just a little slip of paper. And first time I got asked for that, I was like, uh, he looked up through all my stuff. He's like, it's not in here. And it was in there. He didn't know what he's looking for. Because he looked for a big piece of paper. So, um, you need that in there. And then you need, you don't need this one, but I put my New York hut registration in there. And just because, you know, if your sticker peels or they can't see it or anything like that, anything that I have, weight permits, stickers, anything allowing me to run that truck, I keep in that permit book. Now, there's another thing that most people don't know about. If you have a rider in your truck, your son, your daughter, your wife, first of all, make sure they are insurance approved and your insurance allows it. Second of all, you need a rider agreement. Even if you own the company, you need a piece of paper stating that XYZ Transport allows your daughter, your son, your wife, whoever to ride in that truck. And if you take your whole family, you need a paper for everyone and put it in the permit book. I also keep all of my inspections in my permit book. We get inspected so much that when they ask me for my paperwork, I pull out a stack of inspections. Like now I only keep them for like the last two weeks or I'm sorry, two months. If I've been inspected in two months, they're there. I'll pull out the whole stack, but like, oh wait, here's all my inspections from whenever. And they usually look at me and they're like, can I see those? And if you get a decent one and you show them to them and it's close enough, they'll let you slide. Um, and now people are gonna say, oh, well, you only get it once a quarter if you have that sticker. Baloney. They don't care about that sticker. They don't care. They just don't care. DOT is the only person that does not have to go by their rules and regulations. So, gonna recap it real quick. You need your cab card and your trailer registration. You need an insurance certificate. Did I say that? I think I did. You need proof of insurance in there. Now I know some states do not require it you know, and you live there. Like, I think it's Kentucky, you don't have to have it. But, you're going through other states who do require it, so put it in your truck, make your life easy. Then you have your lease agreement. Now you have your truck, your trailer, registr or um, not registration, I'm sorry, annual inspection. Okay, and then you have your IFTA tags, or your IFTA registration my man cleaning up trash. Ha! You have your IFTA registration that must be in there. Then if you have New York Hut, keep that paper in there. Now, I'm telling you guys, if you run, get a New York Hut. I, I don't care if you never go to New York. Because a New York Hut will not stop you from going there. I promise you as a truck driver, you're going to do it anyway. But then when you stop, get stopped and you get a $250 ticket and you pay it, then at the end of the year, when the tax man sends you a 
$2,000 ticket. You heard me, $2,000 tax ticket for not having it. You're gonna wish you to listen. Get it. It's $1.50 at Oscar, the website. Look it up, it's $1.50, just get it, slap it on and keep it moving. And then you have your DOT physical, non-CDL. Now I have a CDL, but I still have my physical, my medical card in there. And also, if you run Kentucky, you need a KYU over 55,000 pounds. Okay, now I know these dualies don't really do over 55, but if you register for it, you need the KYU. If you're running a truck that can go over it, you need the KYU. So, IFTA is good for all states except New Mexico and Oregon. I believe that's the only two you need your own permit. You get them as you go into port of entry. So, that's what you need on a permit book. I hope that helps somebody. Um, guys, we're at like 4,500. I might as well just, just give it away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Go check this out. Look at my man. Look at him. Where's he at? Where you at, Bubba? Can't even see him in the dark. But, alright, so, as you know, I'm giving them away. Two of them. It's coming up. Hopefully within two weeks, I would hope. Um, we're at 4,500. Like, share, subscribe. If you comment, you're in. And I'm going to tell you right now, you can go back and blow them comments up. If you were one of the guys that's like, ah, I'm not going to win. I'm telling you right now, it's a, it's a random number generator live on YouTube. We're going to do it live. Y'all going to know. Hot Shot ain't playing no games. Now, one more thing I want to show you guys. I don't know if you've noticed this, but I got my truck done. Okay? I'm no better than none of y'all. Matter of fact, I appreciate all of y'all. So, if you see this, if you see this sticker, holler at your boy. Stop me, say what's up. You know, it is what it is. I love talking to people. Uh, I think I've had like four or five people stop me and then I can tell when other people's recognize me because they just, they look, they look, but they won't say nothing. But come holler at your boy. I ain't on here just for my good looks and dollar signs. I'm here to help y'all, meet y'all, and make a great network. It's your boy Hot Shot. We out.